population of the United States is aging. This fact is well known. Today, we have a little over 6 million people over the age of 85. But by 2050, that number will be closer to 20 million. Many of the challenges that an aging population brings with it are also well known, like increasing government spending on Medicare and Social Security. But another problem with an aging population is less discussed, an increasingly large group of people experiencing problems with cognition. Cognition is defined as the act or process of knowing, and this definition has two components. The first is having knowledge, and the second is acquiring knowledge. During the normal cognitive aging process, people can maintain the knowledge they already have well until their 80s. This means that skills people have a lot of experience with, often referred to as their crystallized intelligence, tend to stick with them. For example, if you've taught arithmetic since you were young or have always changed your own oil, odds are you can keep doing it without much trouble as long as you're physically able. Learning how to do new things, however, which requires what is called fluid intelligence, gets harder a lot quicker. Many people experiencing normal cognitive aging would have trouble learning a completely new skill. For example, coding in a new computer language is harder for a person in their 60s relative to a younger person. So the good news about normal cognitive aging is that most people can do the things they're used to doing. But the bad news is new things get harder. Sadly, one of the things that many people are used to doing is paying their bills and managing their finances. So it stands to reason that this is something people can do for a long time, as long as they experience normal cognitive aging. Indeed, one study of individuals aged 18 to 86 found that for each decade lived, credit scores went up by 13 points on average. So if an elder gives you financial advice, it may be best to listen, at least occasionally. The problem is that not all people experience normal cognitive aging. Some people experience what is called cognitive impairment. Cognitive impairment occurs when cognition declines by more than would be expected from normal aging alone. So while it's normal to have trouble learning a new computer language in your 60s, it is not normal to be having issues with short-term memory. The most severe form of cognitive impairment is called dementia. The most common cause of dementia is Alzheimer's disease, but it can be caused by other things as well, like a stroke. Now, I mentioned earlier that we have an aging population. By 2050, we will have about 20 million people aged 85 and up. If current statistics hold, about 30% of these individuals, or 6 million people, will have dementia. The big problem our society is going to face as we have a larger pool of people with dementia is somehow providing them with care. People with dementia often live for a period of five to seven years with the disease, and as that time progresses, they need more and more care. With respect to basic activities like bathing and dressing, during the first few years of dementia, people can generally do these things for themselves, but by the late stages of the disease, even these one simple tasks require assistance. And more importantly for the research that I do, which is primarily on wealth and retirement, about 80% of people with dementia require help managing their finances. And this help is required even during the early stages of the disease. In other words, while before people need help with the basic activities of daily living, they often need help managing their finances. In the next segment, we will explore a simple question. Do people get the help with their finances that they need, and what happens when they do not?